So, the most important new feature in Resolve is, hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. Over the years, we got used to the fact that with every major release of Resolve, there is a shiny new effect added to the interface. So once you open the interface, uh, it's usually very clear that this is the new version of Resolve because of something that changed. For example, moving the screen from one side to the other, uh, combining the curves into one, you know, the, the RGB curves into one curve. Sometimes it's adding uh, new entire tabs like Fusion, for example. Uh, last year, it was the color warper. But Resolve 18 is different. It's the first major release of Resolve that when you open, um, there are no visible changes. Like, it's busy, it, it almost looks identical to the previous version of Resolve. So what happened? And does this mean that uh, Resolve has nothing new to offer? Well, on the contrary. What's happening here, I think, is that Resolve reached a certain level of maturity that black magic design is very comfortable with. So they decided to solve bigger problems. And over the next couple of years, it's going to be very exciting. I believe that this is a major, major release of Resolve that is unlike anything we've seen before, and that this has the potential of changing how we edit, how the editing process happens. With the announcement of Resolve 18, there have been two categories of things released. One of them is less important, so we're going to be starting with this category first just to, you know, uh, get it out the way, and then we'll move to the really important thing. The first category is AI. Uh, you will notice that with this release, most of the new effects added and, and, and you know, and, and that were mentioned are basically AI based, which is huge, don't get me wrong. Using AI can transform how we use uh, Resolve or how we edit in general, like uh, effects like the new tracker or the new mask, uh, I'm sure you have seen the announcement, uh, are unbelievable, basically. They're, they're just pure magic. However, they are still not as important as the second category. Notice something important. With the new tracker and the new masking systems that were added, Black Magic Design could have easily added new shiny buttons to the interface to these new effects, claiming them as something extremely uh, important and that just to to guide our attention to them. However, Black Magic Design decided not to do that and not to change the interface. They also changed the render engine to make Resolve faster. Resolve is already extremely fast, but I think they need to uh, make it even faster for the new changes they're making. Uh, John Films created uh, a great video where he compares the new render engine to the uh, existing one. Um, I'll link his video below. Uh, you can check his video, the new engine is, is faster. However, all these things are not as important as the next part, the Black Magic Cloud platform. Now, what is the cloud platform? It's very simple. Now, you know, we discussed before many times how Resolve saves files in databases. So um, your, your Resolve project is saved in a database and you can move the database around. It's, it's, it's pretty easy once you understand how it works. However, what's happening now is that you can host this project that you're working on, on the cloud. So you navigate to their website, to Blackmagic's uh, cloud website. You can look it up, uh, create an account, uh, create a database. It's $5 a month. We're going to uh, get to that in a bit. But you can save your files over there. And you might be wondering why. Like, why would I do that? Why would I pay them $5 uh, a month to host my database in the cloud? It's not for backup purposes, also that works fine. You can, well, you, this is like a guarantee that you won't be losing your, uh, your work, but this allows collaboration. So I can't really count the, the, the possible benefits of, of, of such a system. So imagine this scenario, you're working on a project and you're editing and you need someone to help you with color grading. So you uh, ask for someone to help you with that and they agree. So what you need to do now is to finish the edit 
back the file and send it to him or her in order to uh, work on color. And once they're done, they send you back the files where you do some extra editing, add some extra files. Uh, you need to send it back to them to work on the color, send it back to you, and you're just going to keep on doing this forever. The problem here is that you'll end up with many copies of the same file, and it's not a straightforward process. So this is how we are editing now. However, with the new system, what happens is they provide you with their Blackmagic design ID, you add them to your project, you just go to your project and you add this person, and now the project is not saved on your computer nor on their computer. The project is saved on the cloud, basically at Blackmagic Design's servers. And you're both working on the same project in real time. So let's say you're in one country and you drag a new file to the timeline. It directly appears on their timeline. And once they uh, change the colors of a certain clip, um, you'll get a notification and you can accept the changes and see the colors in real time. So you're both working on the same exact project. You're not sending files back and forth to each other. This is huge and it will open like <laughs> limitless possibilities because uh, this can turn into a profession because more uh, colorists from all over the world can start accepting new jobs where they can work in real time on, on the project with uh, whoever is, is, is editing. And uh, studios now from all over the world are not bound by the talent in their uh, own community or in their own city. Uh, they can actually hire colorists from anywhere in the world without slowing down the project. You can all work in real time at the same project. And this will even lead to new things like, for example, uh, uh, filmmakers starting a new post-production company without them being in the same country. Even so everybody is working on the same projects, everybody is collaborating in real time without needing to be in the same premise because this system exists at the moment uh, using the Resolve uh, server but it, it's not easy to set up and it's limited to people who are in, in like in a certain physical location. They have there have been attempts to make this cloud based, but I'm, I'm not really I didn't follow up on the progress of that project. I'm sure it, I know it exists, but I'm, I'm not really sure what happened with it. But now this is a black magic design solution and everybody can start collaborating in real time. That's why I think this is the beginning of a brand new and very exciting era for black magic design because they're they're not trying to change how you edit personally how a filmmaker works they're trying now to change how groups of filmmakers work how projects come together and that is extremely important because I think this is the future of editing. It's not very efficient for you to work alone on a project. And now you can, and not now, but I mean in the future with the new, uh, with the release of the new Resolve version and when the whole system becomes stable, this is fundamentally going to change how we as filmmakers work. So I know this doesn't seem to be very exciting at the moment. We, were, we got used to these shiny, flashy new effects where um, you click a button and it changes the colors or it edits in one way or another. But I think this is as big as any collaboration network that exists. Just think of Google Docs, for example, where multiple people can work on the same document. Uh, it's really revolutionary, and I think it will change everything. And uh, of course, as always, uh, if you joined any of our courses before, you will get a free update to the, all the new courses for Resolve 18. So I hope you like this. If you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. FilmSimplified.com